What I'd like to do is just do a quick summary now of what I call the dire dozen. And this is the 12 points that I have been speaking about and, and talking about here in this entire program. There are 12 of them. I'm just going to spend a moment or two on each of them. If you want to jot these down while you're watching, I would encourage you to keep track of these 12 ideas, the dire dozen, for connecting to intention. One, want more for others than you want for yourself. Want more for others. Whatever it is that you perceive to be missing, whatever health problems that you may have, whatever addictions you're struggling with, whatever lack of uh, love that you have in your life, whatever lack of peace that you have with your aunts and your uncles or your parents or your in-laws, want the peace that you seek for yourself more for them. Want it more for them. That is how we create this level of consciousness. Secondly, think from the end. Begin to see yourself surrounded by the people and the events and the things that you would like to have only see yourself. You're having a problem with an addiction, see yourself as addiction free. See yourself, if you'd like to have, if you'd like to, if there's a car that you want. My son was perfect at this, Sands. I mean, he's just so good at this. Because there's a certain car that he wanted, it's yellow. And he, not, he didn't just bug me about it every day, which they all do. <laughs> And all kids will do that. But he saw himself. He got a picture of it. He put it on his computer. It's the background of his, of his computer, this yellow whatever it is. All right? I call it the school bus. <laughs> I told him I was going to put cab fares on the side of it, but that's what he wanted. Huh? And then he saw him, and then he went down and he drove it. And uh, it was a used car, and he got on the internet, and he, he just saw himself in it. He couldn't not see himself in it. You know, young, we call this just persistence and being a pain in the rear end oftentimes, but it's not that at all. What it is, is young people have this instant knowing and awareness that I can create what I want for myself in my life, and the way that I do it is I act as if it's already here. And, you just, and almost like they won't, be, they won't be denied it. That's what intention is. It's not that pit bull attitude. It's that awareness that I am thinking from the end, it's already here because everything that you think is missing from your life is already here. The third of these dozen is to be an appreciator in your life. Be an appreciator. Look for that which is valuable rather than worthless. Look, you go out and you buy a house and 10 years later we say it appreciates in value. What does that mean? What does it mean that a car, that a house rather, appreciates? It is more what? Valuable. It's more val Same thing with you. If you're an appreciator, you have more value. Now you buy a car, you drive it off of the lot, and they say, well, it just depreciated by 20%. What does that mean? <laughs> it is not as valuable as it was before. When you depreciate, you take your value away. When you appreciate, you make yourself valuable. What could be more valuable than being connected to source. Four, stay in rapport with source energy. Stay in rapport. Your job here is to be in a state of harmony with this. Constantly reminding yourself, is this how my source thinks? Five, resistance. Understand this about resistance. Every thought that you have that is other than that which you emanated from is resistance. Every unkind thought, every uncreative thought, every thought of judgment, every thought of fear, every thought of depression, every thought of it can't happen, all resistance. So if you say, well, easy for him, he can talk about this, but I can't, that's resistance. You're right. Absolutely. Even if you think all of this is a bunch of nonsense, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Because for you, that's what you believe. And if you believe that, the universal source will help you to fulfill that belief. Sixth is what I talked about many times in the program. Contemplate yourself as surrounded by the conditions which you want to produce. Contemplate yourself that. Because the way you are one with source. You are always one with source. 
You are one with all of its principles, all of those faces. You are one with it. It can't be anything other than it is. Neither can you. Seven, understand the art of allowing. Allowing means taking the path of least resistance. Every time you have a thought that, doesn't, that, it, that has resistance in it, what you have done is you have created an absence of allowing. You have to, you have to almost think like, here I am here, and here's source. How much energy can I pull from it? How much energy can I pull from it? Are you pulling energy from source, or are you, are you away from it? Allowing. Allow yourself. Eight, practice radical humility. You are not this body that you are in. You are not this mind that you are in. You are not any of the possessions that you have. You are a divine source. Nine, be in a constant state of gratitude. Be grateful for everything that shows up. Everything. Stay in a state of being generous and grateful in your life. Because what could be more generous than that which has allowed you to come from the infinite source to this material world and back? Ten, keep in mind that you can never resolve a problem by condemning it. Any problem that you have, when you use shame, you are using the lowest energy that's out there in the universe. You cannot shame your way into higher consciousness, into source energy. Eleven, play the match game. Play the match game. Always ask yourself, am I matched up with the field of intention? And finally, meditate. Make it a practice in your life. Meditation is essential because it is your way of staying connected to source. What is the only thing in the universe that can't be divided? You cannot divide God. Everything else has an up, down, north, south, east, west, male, female, right, wrong, black, white, alive, dead. Everything comes in dichotomies, except for silence. Silence, you cut it in half, what do you get? More silence. Cut it in half again, more silence. Cut source in half, just more source. You can't divide it. Meditation, stay in the gap.